I apologize I uploaded this video before the second video in my two-part series of my critique of the pickup community. I can tell how much popular demand there is for that second video, and I'm sorry for the wait. But before I upload that video, it's important to understand politics first. Trust me, you'll understand soon enough. So, what is politics? Well, if you look up the Google definition, it is somewhat <coughs> unsatisfactory and boring. Funny enough, boring is how most people view politics. Haha, <laughs> joke. Politics is so much more exciting, though. It has to deal with revolutions and social change and literally the lives of everyone. Politics affects so much more than the people who just want to govern. Government policy and even private company policy affects individuals in their day-to-day -day lives. Low wages paid by a company to a worker can cause that worker to start stealing to maintain an adequate level of subsistence. Next thing you know, pigs, sorry, I mean cops, arrest him and put him in jail for breaking the law of stealing, when in fact he's really there for, <coughs> excuse me, for being poor. None of what I just described seems to fall under the definition <coughs> of politics as defined by Google. This is why dictionary definitions are in many cases unsatisfactory at defining subject, which is why you have to look at other sources to figure out what politics is exactly. In practice, in the real world, politics is much more than just government, governance, and parties competing for power. For example, <coughs> excuse me, still freaking sick apparently. For example, people who aren't active in politics are still affected by the policies made by politicians. Take a look at slavery, unjust housing laws, the Syrian civil war, the Flint water crisis, and many more. It's easy to see that not all those people affected in these events were politicians or people involved in government. Politics seems to be an activity that in fact affects <coughs> everyone, but not equally and that there are a small minority of people in power that make decisions for the majority of people. Politics also seems to be the <coughs> act of people trying to achieve success and more power, as in becoming president or becoming a CEO. Oh my god, this cop. Uh, okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, some people just want to, in some cases, just use politics in an end in in of itself to become more powerful. If anything, politics is actively the pursuit of self-actualization and achieving your best self. And to achieve this one will also be changing the world in that pursuit. For example, you can't become <coughs> president without having a good track record of community service or at least serving private interests very well. And you can't become a billionaire <coughs> able to change the world without having a world-altering idea that can make you that money. For example, through making Facebook and changing the way people communicate all around the world, Mark Zuckerberg became a billionaire. You can't just become your best self just by wishing it, like the self-help community does. <coughs> cough, cough. A uh, topic for another video entirely. But instead to become your best self, you actively have to do things that alter the world around you to self-actualize. It's not just an individual solitary activity. The booklet Revolutionary Self Theory by Larry Law, first published in 1975, puts this definition of politics in the best way possible. I'll read it to you now. To have a political orientation towards one's life is just to know that you can only change your life by changing the nature <coughs> of life itself through transformation of the world. And that transformation of the world requires collective effort. This project of collective self-realization can properly be termed politics. However, politics has become a mystified, separated category of human activity. Along with all the other socially enforced separations of human activity, politics has become just another interest. It even has its specialists, be they politicians or politicos. It is possible to be interested or not in football, stamp collecting, disco music, or fashion, what people see as politics today is a social falsification of the project of collective self-realization. 
and that suits those in power just fine. Collective self-realization is the revolutionary project. It is the collective seizure of the totality of nature and social relations and their transformation according to conscious desire. Authentic therapy is changing one's life by changing the nature of social life. Therapy must be social if it is to be of any real consequence. Social therapy, the healing of society, and individual therapy, the healing of the individual, are linked together. Each requires the other. Each is a necessary part of the other. For example, in spectacular society, we are expected to repress our feelings and play a role. This is called playing a part in society. How revealing that phrase is. Individuals put on character armor a steel suit. Of role playing is directly related to the end of social role playing. <clears throat> the whole point of this booklet is as a guide to help people live life on their own terms and pursue their dreams and wants in life. How to do it. The small booklet tells people to change their lives. They inevitably will notice other people also want to change their lives, meaning that achieving your dreams becomes a group event involving many people, a larger body politic. Your dream of self-actualization, whether it be being more successful with women, or getting rid of sex trafficking, or curing cancer, or getting a job, is not just your dream but the dream of many others. So when you say, I just want to become this and get a house and family, I'm not interested in politics. You're in fact being political. You want to get a job which there are only a certain amount of openings for, so you're possibly leaving someone without a job or means of subsistence, and also go on welfare, which you pay taxes to provide for that person. I get that example is dramatic, but it's not hard to find people who can't find employment in a certain field and are forced into a job that pays lower wages. In summation, you simply getting a job and, you know, can add to somebody else having to use the money you pay in taxes to support themselves. In other words, even when you think you aren't affecting somebody else's life with the decisions you make, you, in fact, actually are, as I just illustrated with the example above. You can't live life outside of politics when you're affecting it every day by your actions. So when I make the second video of my honest look at the Pickup Community series, it'll be important to understand that if you're on the path to self-actualization, which most people are, you are being political. If you go around teaching men how to talk and treat women, which goes against societal norms, which are very sexist, you are in fact being political. In fact, by picking up women, you are basically saying that society as it is needs to be changed in order so that everybody can interact in what you deem is a more healthy way. Even though you aren't saying it, it doesn't matter because actions speak louder than words. When you try to pick up a stranger on the street, you're essentially saying, I don't like how alienating society is, and I don't see why strangers can't simply meet other strangers without having to be in some kind of appropriate social setting where it, this activity can take place. That's just a spook. I think guys and girls should talk to each other anywhere even though it goes against the stranger danger mentality. I think if your activities are positive that everybody should be doing it. Therefore you're being political even if you were just picking up women in a mall. This guy who used to be on this channel and uh, used to be my friend didn't realize this. He didn't realize that when you were picking up women you're being political. That when you're apolitical, that is a political stance. But he was all like, man, I'm not into politics. I don't care that the USA installs right-wing dictators in other countries and funds death squads to kill civilians trying to improve their lives. 
I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I literally told him about it, all that stuff, and but he didn't care. So, even though companies who he buys products from directly, like Chiquita and Dole, profited from those atrocities and sell him goods, it still flew over his head. Now, um, just because he's trying to become a pickup instructor for a living means he's outside of politics is completely wrong. If anything, you will run into problems like getting kicked out of countries for picking up women because people realize that what you're doing is socially inappropriate. You could literally run into problems with the government, just like Julian. In summation, uh, no matter what you do, you can't escape politics. Even if you go into the Amazon rainforest, the government, supported by private meat and dairy companies, will go and bulldoze your home in the rainforest because it needs to become land for cows so some rich CEO in Florida can make another million dollars. So, what is politics? Simply, as stated in the revolutionary self-theory, politics is just the pro project of collective self-realization, which affects everyone, because everyone on this planet wants the best life possible. Self-actualization isn't just an activity that some guy who found out about self-help or the pickup community or flipping houses participates in. It is an activity the whole body politic participates in. So when somebody says they're not really into politics, tell him, her, or they that by saying that, they are being political, and then point them to this video. Remember this when I talk about all the negatives at the Peckup community in my next video. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and remember, nothing in this world is simply black or white, there's nuance to everything.